But I do think that uh, the DNA is still there. I think Apple still kind of uses devices as tools. Mm. I mean, based on this next, uh, let's just move on to the next. Let's just uh, move on. Apple won't join the metaverse with its headset. Really? Is this official, Will? Uh, it's not official, but there's always rumblings of like um, the AR, VR kind of um, debacle or comparisons. And Apple has always been very AR. They don't want you to live in like a metaverse <laughs> oh, or some I sort see. of virtual reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, which at this point in time, it's obvious that they they are they're a hardware company. I mean, they have a boatload of services now, but the hardware is what delivers those services, and they mm -hmm. have they don't really have a social network, and Facebook on a, on the other side of things has. This made big investments into VR. Sure. And social media already kind of uh, represented this alternate reality in a way. Mm -hmm. And so you can understand why Apple might have a different approach. Apple apparently doesn't want anything to do with tech's most obnoxious buzzword. buzzword. Oh, this is, of course, according to Gizmodo, writer on Gizmodo. Mm -hmm. I'm re referring, of course, to Metaverse. A pass for guessing NFT. Yeah, which 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 do you think is more buzzy right now, NFT or Metaverse? Which is more buzz? I feel NFTs are a little bit more. Yeah, it's a lot of buzz. A lot of NFT. Those yeah. three letters. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, a reliable Apple analyst, says the company's upcoming AR headset will be designed for shorter activity sessions, not to fulfill the goal of the Metaverse by leaving the real world behind for a digital oasis. Mm -hmm. Here's one word I'd be shocked to hear on stage when Apple announces its headset, Metaverse, Gurman wrote in his newsletter. I've been told pretty directly that the idea of a completely virtual world where users can escape to, like they can in meta platforms, Facebook's vision of the future is off limits from Apple. I mean, yeah. what does any of this even mean? Because you can say one thing now and sure. it can... I mean, the market will dictate exactly. and the way where it in, goes, right? The way in which people use the hardware will, will, will determine things as well, right? If everybody pops on this AR headset and, and flicks on some mm -hmm. alternate place they want to... You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, what are people doing on their iPhones right now, and how mm -hmm. much of it is inside of an Apple application versus another one? Sure. If, if you, like, what percentage of iPhone usage is TikTok or YouTube or some other platform or property? Yeah. I'm just really glad that there is conversation between those two, that it's just not completely on the VR side, even though it's super immersive and there's a lot of dedicated support on it. Um, at the very least, AR is still in the mix. That's that's good. You gotta have two. Yeah. Well, I, I you mean, don't it, you don't want everyone just move over to the metaverse and then everyone's just gonna be developing for it. You need the other side. At least try. An well, alternate. VR VR is more like feels more like content, and AR feels more like utility. Mm -hmm. like they they feel like. They, they can serve completely separate purposes. Like you'll see an AR demo where a guy's fixing an engine or something. He's got all these yeah. small parts and, and a diagram and things. Yeah. But the fact is that people spend a lot of time consuming. We got to be honest about it. Yeah. And the fact that and, everyone's going to be consuming and it's so easy to. But is it, but, but is. Shouldn't there be like an alternate like. Okay. So let me, let me, let, 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 me let me paint a picture here. Okay. So AR is a group of people with their headsets on and a superimposed cinema screen that like looks like it's on the wall somewhere. Sure. But it's but you're not completely VR so you can still see the surroundings of your apartment. What No, no, no. So I think for this at least in this article it just seems like um <laughs> you're going to be using your AR headset just um like at brief amounts of time. You're not getting lost in it, like in a VR headset, where you're spending like 10 hours, 20 hours kind of thing. You sure. know what I mean? Well, but that's just, how are you gonna control how long people use this thing? What, is it gonna turn off after an hour? No, but at the very least, they're, at least the, the filter of it is 
more real life. Like you can kind of see what's around you. But then what does that mean? Okay, so we've all got these AR headsets on and they're just sort of like enhancing our experience. So it's like maybe, maybe yeah. it's navigation. Maybe it's like seeing a review in your lens as you pass by a restaurant. Maybe. Yeah. And not get completely lost. But good luck. I'm just saying real, good. I'm uh, saying good luck. Way. Like the premise sounds fine, but yeah. I'm saying good luck because it's distracting enough with the variety of devices that we do have mm -hmm. to stay engaged in the moment and to ignore notifications and the pull of different applications that exist that are provided by third parties. Mm -hmm. Like you, just because it's AR doesn't mean it can't be all encompassing or addictive. I mean, I see that they're referencing Pokemon, Pokemon yeah. Go and people were going crazy with that. People at the park. It still like comes down routes. to the discipline of the individual, regardless of the technology. Could te sure. The technology in general is going to get to a point where it's going to, it's only going to become more compelling and it's mm -hmm. only going to be harder to put down, mm -hmm. whether it's AR or VR. Yeah. I think this is a really interesting conversation just in general. Sure. I think, I think both will, I, I agree though, that both will exist. And mm -hmm. the, the difficulty with AR is you need to design hardware that people are willing to wear in the real world and are capable of wearing in the real world, untethered. Yeah. And that's from an engineering standpoint, that's, I mean, outside of using your phone to have AR experiences, that's a daunting task. You've For seen sure. companies have tried and it hasn't gone all that well up and up until now. Yeah.